right. Y'all looking good tonight. Daddy likes. It'll be all right. Where's Shannon at? Happy birthday, darling. Where? There you are. Happy birthday, baby. I'll tell you what, y'all. I, uh, I don't know if any of y'all into the, the big technology, all the, the big toys we got now. I got a buddy of mine just got him some of that high-definition television. If y'all ever seen one of those, he, uh, he's all horned up about it since he got it. Got one on sale over at the Best Buy. And he calls me up and he's like, hey man, you watching the playoffs? I said, well, yeah. He said, yeah, but you watching them in high definition? <laughs> no. Oh man, it ain't even a game unless you watch it in high def. It ain't even worth watching at all, man. You watch it in high def, you can see the whole cord, man. I mean, if somebody takes a hard elbow and it cuts and they start bleeding, you can see the blood coming down their mouth. Or, and when they're running, they work real hard and they get all sweaty, you can see that sweat line in their butt crack on the back of the shorts. I mean, you can see everything. I don't need to see that. <laughs> but I was curious, you know, just see what he's talking about. So I went over and watched the game, first game of the, of the, the finals, and it was the Heat and the Mavericks. I can tell y'all the Mavericks won. It's not because I finished watching the game, y'all, because by like the second quarter, I'm watching it in drunk death. <laughs> Third quarter, I'm watching it in loaded death. By the fourth, I'm watching it in... <clears throat> death. Here's my thing, y'all. I can understand getting HG, you know, or the, the HD, whatever it is, the high definition. But y'all, if I'm going to pay that kind of money for high definition, it ain't going to be for sports, y'all. It's going to be for the Spanish channel. I'll tell you that straight up. <laughs> Somebody, I know these folks over do. I'll tell you right now, Papi Mucho Gusto is the Spanish channel kids. I'll tell you. And here's the thing. I don't have low the Espano. I don't know what the hell they're talking about. All I know that like every, at least per capita, 15, 20 minutes, you got this hot Puerto Rican Jezebel, this little Mexican firecracker, this Colombian concubine wiggling around barely a stitch of clothes on her. Everything's just hanging out. And then you just got some old man in a touch over the side going, bien. You know, that's, that's quality programming right there, kids. I don't care who you are. And here's the thing, it doesn't matter if it's a game show, if it's a, a soap opera, even the old chicks are hot on those things, man. Or if it's, I mean, it could be the news, and they're like, Pero aquí verde, gringo, comida, cocino. Ay! You know? That's, that's time well spent. And, and my thing is, I, I love Latino women. They're so tasty and fine. <laughs> And like they said, I'm the pride of Caulfield, Kansas, y'all. I grew up in a tiny little sparrow fart town in Kansas. We didn't have Mexicans growing up. You know, it, seriously, until I got to California, the only Mexican I knew was Ponch. So, um, go ahead, give it time, let it simmer, you'll get it. Yeah. So I'm just learning. 